Hello everyone! Welcome to the Healthy Lifestyle Support Group. I am Tony Marinucci, your registered dietitian, helping you get healthy one bite at a time. I am the co-host of the I am the co-host of the Tips with Tony podcast and co-host to the Gym Woods podcast. If you are new to this group, I just want to say welcome. If you've been here for a while, I'm pretty sure this group is like almost three three years old at this point. Um, I want to say thank you so much for staying here. If you're watching live, type live. If you're catching the replay, type replay. Today we are going to talk all about how to satisfy your cravings without leading to a binge. I just recently finished a training all about um, emotional eating, binge eating body image. Um, it was really, really, really powerful and it was a full day training. So I learned a lot. But what I'm going to share with you guys today is literally one slide of the whole, I think there was like 150 slides. So I'm going to teach you guys one slide. This is something that I actually implement with my clients, but it really just helped kind of clarify um, and kind of fine tune the skills that I already had, which is really, really powerful. Um, and I think it's going to help you a lot. All right, so this topic is all about how to satisfy a craving without leading to a binge. So first of all, I just want to kind of say that there are two types of hunger. There's physical hunger and psychological hunger. So sometimes we will eat when we're not actually hungry because we're just craving something. And I want you guys to know that that is okay. Um, obviously, we always want to check in and assess how hungry are we and if we're actually hungry and try to honor our hunger cues as much as possible. But there are times where we just kind of want something just to want it, um, just to have it. And so we need to be we need to be mindful, though, that we can satisfy that without overeating, overindulging, feeling super bloated, kind of feeling guilty and frustrated. Like, why do we keep doing this? Why do we keep eating more than our body actually wants and needs? Um, and how can we kind of break this cycle? So I just want to be clear it's not wrong it's not bad it happens to the best of us um, and the goal is to never not binge again because realistically I think we're all human and I think we all are under a lot of stress and emotion and things are going to happen in our lives um, but if we can decrease how often we do it and we can feel better about our food choices I think that's going to help you go a very long way um, and not just your health but your overall um, happiness and kind of sense of being in charge of your diet so what I wanted to share with you is this simple, simple way of being able to satisfy your craving without overdoing it or without also just keeping trying to restrict and rely on your quote unquote willpower, which never works, by the way, because that eventually will lead to a binge. So I wanted to share first share a story with you. So when I first started trying to lose weight um, and get healthy, um, I did a really good good job in the beginning by literally changing over to like I only ate healthy food and honestly reflecting back on it I probably had a touch of what's called orthorexia which I wasn't intentionally trying to be super restrictive or all that I was just so obsessed with eating healthy food that when it came to me wanting something like ice cream I, I wouldn't have it because it just wasn't healthy it didn't fit within that realm so so here's an example of why this is not really good at all um, because so now here I am I have this craving right I want I want to have ice cream I go into the freezer and I'm like no I can't it's so many calories I'm gonna have stomach aches I don't know how to just have a little of it um, I go into the refrigerator look for something can't find anything go into the cabinet look for something and I find I pass up a lot of things that I actually want and then I end up having something like seaweed snacks which are disgusting by the way <laughs> if you like them you're lying um <laughs> and the reason why i'll choose something i would used to have chose something like that was because it was the lowest calorie option or the healthiest option didn't matter if i wanted it or not that's what i would choose and that worked for a point but we all know as you resist those cravings they just come back stronger and stronger and stronger and eventually it would lead to me raining the cabinets having everything and anything and then sitting in regret and wondering why i did that and then before that it was just like i was not happy i was always feeling kind of trapped to the diet and super restricted so that's why I want you to be able to learn how to satisfy your craving and truly get what you want physically and emotionally without having it lead to a binge. So this is the easiest way you're going to be able to do that. Okay, so very often, sometimes too, especially in the beginning, if you're just first trying to lose weight or get healthy or kind of go um, into this like healthier lifestyle journey, and honoring your hunger cues in the beginning it they might not be there and they might not it might be difficult for you um, to know what you want 
So we're going to use this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to ask yourself, do I want something hot or cold? When you have that answer, you're going to go do, I want something crunchy or mushy or smooth. Do I want something liquid, solid or in between? Do I want something salty or sweet? How about bland or spicy or flavorful? Or do I want a, a, a protein, a carb, a fat, or maybe all three? Okay, so the more, I want you to ask those questions and that will help you fine tune to pick something that you want. So if I had gone through those, if I wanted something hot or cold, right off the bat, I wouldn't have chose the seaweed snacks because I was craving ice cream, so I would have wanted something cold, okay? It would have been clear that I wanted something smooth and I wanted something maybe in between, not liquid or solid. Um, and I wanted something sweet and I wanted something um, flavorful. And maybe I wanted something kind of carby, at carbs with fat or something like that. But then this is the last step that not a lot of people ask is like, is there a way I can have, get that same exact craving without choosing something like the ice cream? Is there a way, like, so one recipe that I have that I make is um, a frozen banana, half of a frozen banana, half of an avocado frozen in a blender, cocoa powder, and unsweetened almond milk. And honestly, it comes out and it's like, it's, I don't know if you've heard of that, it's called nice cream. So it comes out and it tastes like ice cream. It's the same satisfaction of eating ice cream without me feeling like, oh man, man, I just had some ice cream. That works for me sometimes, but back then I probably would have been better off just having the real deal ice cream. Okay, so this is where it becomes very individualized to you, but I want you to be clear that when you're craving something, it's better to kind of find something that represents what you're craving rather than trying to continuing to dismiss it and disregard it and kind of push it away. All right, so I hope you found this helpful. If you are watching live, like I said, type live. If you're catching the replay, type replay. Let me know what your takeaways are. Um, if you're gonna be able to use this. It's also something to utilize, not just with snacking, but just your meals. Try to use it, honestly, all the time. The more you practice this, the more you'll actually honor what your body wants and needs, and then naturally everything else will fall into place. All right, guys. Sorry, I'm like, I feel like I'm going to burp. That's so gross. <laughs> um, all right, if you have any questions, post them below. Send me a message, and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.